How very much I've loved you. How very much I've tried my best to give you the good life. But in spite of all of that I've tried, a handful of our people with their lives have made our life impossible. There's no way to detach ourselves from what's happened today. Not only we're in a compound situation, not only are there those who have left and committed the betrayal of the century, some have stolen children from others and they're in pursuit right now to kill them because they stole their children. And we, we are sitting here waiting on a powder keg. I don't think this is what we want to do with our babies. I don't think that's what we had in mind to do with our babies. It was said by the greatest of prophets from time immemorial, no man lay, takes my life from me, I lay my life down. So. To, to sit here and wait for the catastrophe that's going to happen on that airplane, it's going to be a catastrophe. Almost happened here. Almost happened. The congressman was nearly killed here. But you can't steal people's children. You can't take off with people's children without expecting a violent reaction. And that's not so unfamiliar to us either. If we, even if we were Judeo-Christian, if we weren't communists, the world, the kingdom, suffers violence, and the violence shall take it by force. If we can't live in peace, then let's die in peace. <laughs> We've been so betrayed. We have been so terribly betrayed. But we tried, and as Jack Beam often said, I don't know where he's at right this moment. Where's Jack? He said, if this only worked one day, it was worthwhile. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what's going to happen here in a matter of a few minutes is that one of those people on that plane is going to, going to shoot the pilot. I know that. I didn't plan it, but I know it's going to happen. They're going to shoot that pilot, and down comes that plane into the jungle. And we had better not have any of our children left when it's over because they'll parachute in here on us. I'm telling you just as plain as I know how to tell you, I've never lied to you. I never have lied to you. I know that's what's going to happen. That's what he intends to do. And he will do it. He'll do it. Fortunately, being so bewildered with many, many pressures on my brain, seeing all these people behave so treasonous, it was just too much for me to put together. But... Uh, uh, I now know what he was telling me, and it'll happen, if the plane gets in the air even. So, my opinion is that we be kind to children, and be kind to seniors, and take the portion, like they used to take in ancient Greece, and step over quietly, because we are not committing suicide, it's a revolutionary act. We can't go back, they won't leave us alone. They're now going back to tell more lies, which means more congressmen. And there's no way, no way we can survive. Hmm? Anybody wish to? Anyone that has any dissenting opinion, please speak. Yes. You can have an opportunity, but if our children are left, we are going to have them butchered. We can make a strike, but we'll be striking against people that we, we don't want to strike against. We want, we'd like to get the people who cause this stuff. And some, if some people here are, are prepared to know how to do that, to go in town and get Timothy Stone, but there's no plane. There's no plane. You can't catch a plane in time. He's responsible for it. He brought these people to us. He and Deanna Myrtle. But people in San Francisco will not, not be idle over this. They'll not take our death in vain, you know. Yes, Christine. Is it too late for Russia? Here's why it's too late for Russia. They killed. They started to kill. 
That's why it makes it too late for Russia. Otherwise, I'd said, Russia, you bet your life. But it's too late. I can't control these people. They're out there. They've gone with their guns, and it's too late. And once we kill anybody, at least that's the way I've always, I've always put my lot with you. If one of my people do something, it's me. And I say, I don't, I don't have to take the blame for this, but I, I, don't, I don't live that way. They said, deliver up Ujara, who tried to get the man back here. Ujara, whose wife, mother has been lying on him and lying on him and trying to break up this family, and they've all agreed to kill us by any means necessary. You think I'm going to deliver them, Ujara? Not on your life. No. No, you're not going. You're not going. You're not going. I can't live that way. I cannot live that way. I've lived with for all and I'll die for all. I've been living on hope for a long time, Christine, and I appreciate it. You've always been a very good agitator. I like agitation because you got to see two sides of one issue, two sides of a question. But what those people are going to get done, what they get through, will make our life worse than hell. Will make, us, make the Russians not accept us. When they get through lying, they told so many lies between there and that truck that we are we are done in as far as any other alternative. Well, I said let's make an air al lift to Russia. That's what I say. I don't think nothing is impossible. Well, how are we going to believe it? How are you going to airlift to Russia? Well, I thought he, they said if we got in an emergency, they gave you a code to let them know. No, they did. They gave us the code that they'd let us know of an issue, not us create an issue for them. They said if we, if they saw the country coming down, they'd create, they'd give us the code. They'd give us the code. You can check on there and see if it's on the code. You can check with Russia to see if they'll take us in immediately, otherwise we die. I don't know what else you say to these people. But to me, death is not and death is not a fearful thing. It's living this treachery. I have never, 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 never seen anything like this before in my life. I've never seen people take the law and do in their own hands and provoke us and try to purposely agitate murder of children. It, it's no, you, Christine, it's just not. It's not worth living like this. Not worth living like this. I think that there were too few who left for 1,200 people to give them their lives for those people that left. You know how many left? Ooh, 20 odd. That's, that's a small 20 amount odd. Com com 20 compared, odd. compared to what year. 20 odd. But what's going to happen when they don't leave? I hope that they could leave, but what's going to happen when they, do when they don't leave? You mean the people here? Yeah, what's going to happen to us when they don't leave, when they get on the plane and the plane goes down? I don't think it'll go down. You don't think it'll go down? I, I wish I could tell you you were right, but I'm right. There's one man there who blames, and rightfully so, Debbie Blakey for the murder, for the murder of his mother, and he'll, sh he'll stop that pilot by any means necessary. He'll do it. That plane will come out of the air. There's no way you fly a plane without a pilot. I wasn't speaking about that plane. I was speaking about the plane for us to go to Russia. How do... <laughs> to Russia. Do you think Russia's going to want... Uh, no, not going to... Hit, 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 hit. We're not, uh, you think Russia's going to want us with all this stigma? We had, we, we had some value, but now we don't have any value. Well, I don't see it like that. I mean, I feel like that as long as there's life, there's hope. That's my faith. Well, some, everybody dies. <laughs> Someplace that hope runs out because everybody dies. I haven't seen anybody yet didn't die. And I like to choose my own kind of death for a change. I'm tired of being tormented to hell. That's what I'm tired of. I'm tired of it. Twelve hundred people's lives in my hands, and I certainly don't want your life in my hand. But I'm going to tell you, Christine, without me, life has no meaning. I'm the best friend you'll ever have. And once, once I have to pay, I'm standing with you, Jara. I'm standing with those people. They're part of me. 
I can detach myself. My attorney says detach.